using freestyle scripts. You ready? Conversation number one, delivering unpleasant news. Remember, when you have to deliver unpleasant news, the key to doing that is going to be your lead-in line and your closing line. Now, what you can put in between those two things is going to vary depending on the type of conversation, but lead-in lines and closing lines are key. Lead-in lines set the tone, grab the attention of the other person, open up the lines of communication, and set the stage. A good lead-in line consists of three components. Number one, they are short. Number two, you use the other person's name. And number three, you use I language. Then you put a period and a pregnant pause. Here's what they sound like. Mark, I have some unfortunate news. Or, Mark, I need your help. Or, Mark, I'm concerned. That's it. When you hear people start conversations like that, it immediately signals that they are trained, polished, professional communicators. And it makes the person to whom they are speaking sit up, pay attention, and listen. They almost hold their breath the whole time because that beginning lead-in line sets such a powerful tone. And remember, a closing line helps us avoid one of the most common mistakes that professional communicators make after having delivered a difficult conversation. They don't know when to quit. And so after they say whatever it is that they needed to say, they start to trail off and they say, well, that's, that's, that I just wanted to make sure that you knew that. And I, I'm really sorry that I'm the bearer of that news, but well, that's, I think that's, that's, do you have any questions? Okay. I don't have any questions. So I think that's it. Uh -huh. Remember the only person who should be saying that's it or some version of that after they have delivered a message is Porky the Pig at the end of a Looney Tunes cartoon, not you as a professional communicator. That's what your closing line should convey, that this conversation is over and we're done. What you want to use generally is a closed-ended question. A closed-ended question is going to elicit a one-word response from the person to whom you ask it. So it could be something such as, do you need anything from me? Or are we on the same page? Or can I count on you? Any one of those types of closed-ended questions will encourage the other person to say, yes, you can. No, I don't have any questions. Yes, we're on the same page. And then you can simply wrap it up with a simple, great. I hope the rest of your day is a pleasant one. And now you are done. There are many different scripts that you can put in between your lead-in lines and closing lines. But if you don't have a lead-in line or closing line prepared, the power of whatever you put in between those two things will be greatly diminished. So do yourself and your message a favor. Create a lead-in line and a closing line before you deliver the meat of your message.